faith. Now I know, I know, faith isn't a new idea, but it's definitely an idea worth spreading. See, faith gets people back on their feet. It gives them a reason to live. Faith reminds us to move on. It reminds us that we're resilient and that better days are on the way. There's faith in family, there's faith in God, but the most important form of faith, the purest form of faith is faith in ourselves. Now, most of us here can agree that having faith in ourselves is critically important. Yet there are so many of us that spend more time being our own worst enemy instead of having faith in ourselves and being our own best friend. You have greatness in you. And in order to demonstrate that greatness, you've got to become a risk taker. You've got to read jobs out of your comfort zone. Because in order to do something you've never done, you've got to become someone you've never been. When you become a risk taker. This God said, if you're not willing to risk, you can't grow. And if you can't grow, you can't become your best. And if you can't become your best, you can't be happy. And if you can't be happy, then what else is there? So what is it that you learn? Think about your goals. You make it a big goal, a big dream. If you lose a job, keep the faith. If you lose a spouse, keep the faith. If you bury your child, keep the faith. If you have to downsize, keep the faith. If you have to move in with your mama, keep the faith. If you're at your wit's end, keep the faith. If you have to catch the bus, keep the faith. If you have to thumb, keep the faith. If you get sick, keep the faith. If you lose your kidneys, keep the faith. If you got heart trouble, keep the faith. You might not get a new heart, but you gotta keep your faith. If you don't have the money, and if you don't have the contacts, if you don't have the relationships, none of those things matter. If you have a golden dream, if you have the willpower to go after it. Regardless of the reason, we have to move on. We have to change because faith gives us power. We can see it. We can feel it. And we can use it to become the people that we've always wanted to be. If you keep doing what you've been doing, you're going to keep getting what you've been getting. So if you're at a place in your life and you ain't happy with it, you have to change some things. But you have to make a conscientious decision that you're going to change. And it's not dependent on anybody else. It don't matter what your mama think. It don't matter what your coworkers think. It don't matter what your siblings think. It don't matter what your children think. It don't matter. They have nothing to do with it. This decision is yours and yours alone. Faith gives you power. You can use it to become anyone that you want it to be.